Today's color review is Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl. I'm gonna talk about the undertones of this paint color, and I'm gonna show you that there's another undertone that you need to watch out for, and I'm gonna prove it to you. Also, I'm gonna talk about why you can't say Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl is cool or warm without comparing it to other paint colors, and I'm gonna show you the importance when it comes time comparing seed pearl with other colors or fixed elements. Is it gonna look clean or dirty? And you definitely wanna check that out towards the end of this video. And for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm an international color consultant. I help people all over North America find the perfect interior or exterior paint color without ever stepping foot in their home. Check out my reviews. I have over 400 five-star reviews and see what clients have to say. So if you're tired of trying different paint samples and you wanna eliminate the guesswork, then check out the link that's right down below in the description section. Okay. So what is seed pearl? Seed pearl is a grayish. So what's a grayish? It's a mix of a beige and a little bit of a gray, but there's another undertone that you need to know about Benjamin Moore seed pearl. But before I get there, I wanna show you why you can't say that this color is warm or cool without comparing it to other colors. So watch this. When you compare this with Benjamin Moore Swiss coffee, which happens to be a grayish, watch what happens. So. When you pair Benjamin Moore Swiss coffee, you're gonna instantly see how Benjamin Moore seed pearl is cooler than Swiss coffee, and Swiss coffee is warmer, is 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 warmer than Benjamin Moore seed pearl, because you see a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of warm in Swiss coffee. So in this instance, Benjamin Moore seed pearl leans on the cool side. Well, let's compare this to another paint color called Benjamin Moore. Calm. Now, there are two things I want to show you. Number one, I'm going to show you what happens. And number two, I'm going to show you another undertone that you need to know about Benjamin Moore Seed Pearl. So when you compare Benjamin Moore Calm, you're going to instantly see how Benjamin Moore Seed Pearl is warmer than Calm. And if you look carefully, you're going to notice how Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl has a little bit of a green undertone. So now you know that Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl is a grayish. It's a mix of a beige. It has a little bit of a gray to it. And sometimes you might see a little bit of green undertone depending on what other colors that you're comparing it to. Also, you know that you can't say that it's warm or cool. Now, there's something else that you need to know. So when it comes time to find, finding or comparing other different paint colors with Sea Pearl, you need to see, is it gonna be clean or is it gonna be dirty? I'm gonna show you an example. So let's just say that you wanna paint your trims like a warm off white. Let's use Greek Villa and see what happens. So when you pair Greek Villa, you're gonna instantly see how Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl is cooler than Greek Villa and that yellow undertone in Greek Villa is gonna make Benjamin Moore Seed Pearl look dirty. So you wanna be really careful and ask yourself, do you want Benjamin Moore Seed Pearl to look dirty or do you want it to look clean? Well, let's just say that you wanna paint your trims Chantelay Lace. Watch what happens. When you compare Chantelay Lace by Benjamin Moore, you're gonna instantly see how Benjamin Moore Chantelay Lace looks clean. And then chances are your space is gonna look cool, inviting, and cohesive. But let's take this one step further. It's not just about paint colors or the interior decor fabrics that you may have in your home. You also need to pay attention to the fixed elements that you have. So I'm gonna compare this with a, um, a kitchen countertop that leans more on the cream side. Watch what happens when I compare this kitchen cream color with Sea Pearl. You're gonna instantly see how Sea Pearl leans on the cooler side and it makes this light cream kitchen countertop look a lot yellower than it really is and it's going to make 
pinch of a more seed pearl look dirty. So you probably don't want that to happen. So instead, for those of you that have a kitchen countertop that looks like this, that's a warm off white, it's got a little bit of blue gray undertones, watch what happens. You're gonna see instantly how Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl leans on the cool side. And also you're gonna notice how it feels clean, cohesive, and crisp. So now that you know more about Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl, it's a grayish. You can't say it's cool or warm without comparing to other colors. You know that it's got a green undertone and you know the importance of comparing this to other colors. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out my design tips. I don't post them anywhere online. Check out my website. There's a link right down below in the description section. Until then, I will see you in the next video.